Hey, Leland from Rikers Reptiles. Thank you everybody who participated in that giveaway. I really appreciate that. Uh, all the time and effort you guys put into it really ha had me hit my goal and that was amazing what you did. So uh, first off, thank you so much. And to Nikki, congratulations. That's an awesome little boy you got. He's gonna be a really cool dude for you. Um, and then the other thing I, in this video, I filmed it already, I'm getting ready to go. It's John and Margaret's 66th wedding anniversary. So happy anniversary, John and Margaret. Uh, if you're watching my video, which I know you will. So happy anniversary. And I forgot to mention in the video about uh, when, they, when the um, snakes don't eat, I will mark the tub with a little uh, pink or yellow little post-it note here. I'll show you right here. And then I put just an R for refuse and the date. So you can see that on a couple of these tubs. These are breeder females that went off of food as they should. Um, and then over here, there's a one, two, three, four more. So uh, just to give you an idea, because I had somebody say, well, how do you keep track? How do you keep track of all those animals and who's eating, who's not eating? And, and it just me, must be just really hard to keep track. I've talked to a lot of people. A lot of people don't really do a lot of uh, detailed of who's eating and who's not eating. They just keep track of the, the really, really bad eaters, apparently. And uh, I'm starting to think that'd be probably a faster way to do it. But I think, I don't know, I want to go year over year and check this data and then see if there's any correlation to them not eating to time of season or if it has something to do with the female re re if it's the females that are doing it versus the males and if it's the females maybe it's because of their cycle as they're coming of age um maybe if that's what the thousand gram wall is all about so there's some questions that i, I want to answer with some of this stuff that I'm, I'm keeping track of so anyhow that's a long intro enjoy the video bye Okay, here's the little uh, post feed video to see what my little marking systems and how I keep track of stuff. So basically, if the peg is down, that means it was a frozen thawed. And if there's no peg, it didn't eat. And if there's two pegs, it ate two. And if one peg is up, it ate a live one. And if one peg is down, it was a frozen behind it or vice versa. So both down, I do that. And then if it was too live, I put this little peg right behind it. So I just know from my own record keeping, just in case I got a picky snake that just only would eat like mice or would only eat live or would only eat a certain color. I mean, it, when it gets picky, when it gets that picky, I, I start writing it down. But a dot's gonna mean that it's a live eater. And look, it took a frozen. It actually took two pre-killed. So I got to change that up. I'll probably take the dot off the tub now and I'll only offer pre-killed until it'll stop. And then boop, the dot will go back on once it goes back. And then this one right here has only been alive. It's in the hole. That means uh, before I go to bed or you know during the feed, I just make sure it doesn't regurgitate it or flip it into a water bowl or do something where the next day it's going to just stink like a bomb. So basically that's why I leave everything in there. I can keep going through the tubs and keep checking to make sure they, they didn't uh, water gen grenade me or doing anything weird. Like this one here, I couldn't see underneath like where the snake was that night and it had a live in there. It was acting like it ate, but it wasn't big enough to leave a huge lump in them. So anyhow, that's what those markings are. And then on this rack here, everything with a clip eight. So pretty much that one had two, all those had smalls, Han Solo passed, I offered both. This one laid and then eight. And then this one had two and shed. So finally Daryl's looking good. So this is really weird looking snake. He looks like so many, like in person, he's like a bright yellow. So the chocolate just really changes stuff. And then you get the light on him and you can pick up those yellows. But he is absolutely beautiful snake and super nice. A real squeezer. 
So then I'll remove all these clips today. The only things that'll stay on will be blue for in shed or black for I need to clean it. So this is the holding tub. So I got to um, clean that one. And then Nikki got her snake, showed up today perfectly fine. So today I have to uh, get that ready to go for future hatchlings. And then also I notated what everybody ate. The whole clutch is eating. And then um, everybody but Anakin over here ate because Anakin was breeding and he's I think in breeding mode so I gotta snap him out of it. And then uh, down here Jan's down in this holding tub. She had two. She's back on food strong. Jim had a nice one. Maz had one and I offered another. She didn't take it. And then Captain Phasma is off food officially. Pan's back on hard with two more. Angela's off and building and getting ready just getting ready any time now and phyllis refused last two weeks she's looking good though nice and content So there you have it, little wrap up video for the end of feed day. Have the incubator going over here with uh, three clutches in it right now. Couple new stickers. All right, I'll see you in the next video.